everyone, it's Jess here again, and I have another tutorial for you. Um, this one has been inspired by one of my um, faithful subscribers, and uh, it was a question I got about how do you layer an element on top of an element when you are using this watercolour technique, which is an excellent question, as I have to do this every day myself in my job as a children's book illustrator. So for me, this happens when I have a character, such as this little bunny, and he's laying on top of a moon, and perhaps he has a background behind him, and I want each one of those to be separate layers that I could then move, edit, you know, change the size, um, things like that. So I will show you how I do that um, as simply as, as I can. And it all comes down to making sure you have your layers and your paintbrush on the correct mode and on either multiply or normal down here for your layers. Okay, so as an example, I went ahead and um, put this little drawing I did of um, a bunny sleeping on a moon, which is actually going to be a part of a children's book. Um, but this is, is going to be just a, a short tutorial on this. Okay, if you don't know how to set up your picture for a watercolor painting, um, in the technique that I have made, go ahead and check out one of my other videos. It goes in depth detail on how to do that. I'm not going to do that now, um, just for the sake of time. So I went ahead and scanned in this drawing and um, I've put it on a layer here and I'm going to call it drawing. Okay. It's very important when you're doing your artwork that you organize it. It's going to make your life so much easier. Naming layers and grouping them is a great way to do that. So um, this layer, drawing, your drawing layer, is always going to be on multiply, okay? Now let's say I want to put a background behind my bunny. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to add a layer and I'm going to take this layer and drop it underneath the drawing layer. And this layer is going to be on multiply. And go ahead and call it background, okay? So let's just say I'm going to do like a gradient background. I've got my watercolor brush. I'll give you a link to that. I only use one kind of brush. And as you can see, the mode up here is set to multiply. Okay. It's kind of big. So I'm just going to quickly fill in a background. Okay, because it is set to multiply, I can layer color on top of color. If it was up here set to normal, it goes back to that same color and I cannot layer on top of it again. So just undo that. Keep this on multiply when you're coloring and you want to be able to have this nice layer effect. Okay, there's a gradient. Then I'm going to go to my smudge tool. I'm just going to blend this a little bit. Make it a slightly smoother transition. This is just you know, really rough and quick. Show you how I do this. Okay. So let's just say this is your, your background color. Okay. It's called background, it's on multiply. Now we're going to add another layer on top. This layer is going to be um, your color layer, but first let's actually separate. Um, well, first of all, actually, I'll just show you, I won't separate too much, I don't want to confuse you. So we'll go ahead and do this in color. So we're going to color now uh, the bunny and the moon. So what we have is another layer, and this layer is going to be set to normal, okay? I'm going to call it color, and that's important. This is the key here, is that it's set to normal because, let me show you. Let's say my bunny's going to be, a, or the moon will be a cream color. Okay, this is set to normal. If it was set to multiply, look what happens. It's gone. It's 
not actually gone. I don't know if you can see it, it's very slight yellow here, but because it's on multiply, you can't see it. So keep it on normal. But if your coloring, keep this mode on multiply, because if you keep it on normal, you're not going to get that lovely watercolor effect, the layering. You can do one blocky color, but who wants that? We don't want a blocky color. The whole point of doing this is to do a watercolor technique. So make sure that your mode is set to multiply and your layer is set to normal. That's really all you have to remember. Okay, and then I would just continue. Let's zoom in a bit here. To color it in. Let's color the bunny too. Ba, ba, ba. Doesn't matter if you go over the lines, don't freak out. You can erase it later. Okay, normally I wouldn't be this zoomed in because as you can see I'm making some streaky line colors here which is not ideal but I'm just trying to show you how this works. Okay, then you could go back when you're done with the coloring and you can clean it all up by erasing it. All right. Okay. And then the little bunny, you know, now that you are here, you can color him in better. I'll get my tongue used to him. Okay. You know, etc., etc. So anyway, that's very dirty, done really quick. All right. But it's on a separate layer. So now that is how you layer on top of a layer. Okay, this is, you've got to make sure you have them in order. And then what you want to do is you want to group them. So you've got your color layer and your drawing layer. Hold down the shift key, press the drawing layer that was not selected and press Command G, which is a group. Okay, then you name it something like bunny and moon or whatever it is that you're doing. So now you can separate them from your background, okay? You can Command T and you could resize it. You could turn it. You find that by just holding over a corner and you can see that little double arrow, that's how you turn it. Center, whatever. Okay, let's say, like for my job, for example, I might need this bunny to be completely separate from the moon. Maybe, you know, we need to make the bunny bigger. To do that, I'd go to the drawing layer, grab my lasso tool, We'll just turn off the color for now. Actually, I can't see them. We'll go ahead and grab the, go ahead and go around the bunny. Okay, that's him selected. And I would just copy him, Command C, and I would delete him. Ah, he's gone. And then I'd press Command B to copy him again. And as you can see, it went to normal. And I don't want him on normal, I want him on multiple. And he's still in bunny and moon, and I would actually take this layer out now, and I would put it above this one, and I would rename this just moon, because that's all it's going to be now. So this will be the bunny drawing, okay? And it's on multiply, and if I just zoom out here, you go see that I could now turn off the, oops, Oh yeah, you can still see the bunny. Turn off the moon and um, just go ahead and turn off the color. I could turn off just the moon, see like that, and then I could have just the bunny. Now as you can see, 
when I turn off the bunny, I'm missing a big chunk of moon right here. So I would probably draw that in. Um, and so long as the bunny is above the moon, let's go ahead and add some color for him. New layer, put it underneath the bunny drawing. Call it color. Make sure it is on normal. And when you have your paintbrush, that that mode is on multiply. And let's just say, okay, I'm just going to color him. It's really rough. Okay. And you can still see layer your colors because you have the paintbrush on multiply up here. It is on multiply, so you are still getting that watercolor effect, which is what you want. <coughs> then I would, you know, clean him up and I would outline him. I would finish my artwork properly and I would group them again. So color, hold down the shift key, grab the bunny drawing and I just press command G and I would call him bunny or whatever. So now I have a bunny group and I've got a moon group. Let's go ahead and go into the moon group real quick. I'll turn the color on. I'm just going to erase uh, the part I did for the bunny. It's on the moon layer. Okay. So. So then you've got one lay one group that is for your moon and one group that is for your bunny. And because the bunny group is above the moon group, you can move it anywhere and it will cover up the layer below it. So as you can see, I could move it, I could um, resize him, command T, I could make him bigger, I could adjust him. Oh, that's kind of cute. You know, I would do whatever I wanted to do. And then you could add another group and you could layer on top again. And you could do this an infinite number of times. Infinite, sorry. And um, it wouldn't matter, like, for example, if I just go ahead and duplicate this group. Bunny copy. Okay. There's another bunny on top now, just to give you an example. See, now there's another one on top. That could be anything, you know, whatever you were drawing or creating. So long as that is above the layer below, you will be able to layer on top of it. Okay. So I hope that answered your question. It's pretty simple. Um, you've just got to keep in mind that you have this in the correct order. So literally at the bottom, you want your background. You want the very lowest part of your art. And so you know, your wash or whatever you were doing in your background, you would have on the bottom. Then you would have your next element. In this case, it's a moon. Um, and then the one on top of that, which is my bunny, you know, so you could keep layering and layering and layering and you'd be able to edit this whenever you wanted. So the only key things you need to remember is that your drawing layer is on um, multiply on your layer and multiply uh, sorry, no, it doesn't need to multiply because it's a drawing. Uh, just multiply on your layer. Then the color goes underneath. Because if you do this, watch real quick. Color above. Uh, drawing's gone. Because this is on normal. So the color goes underneath the drawing. Okay, so that you can still see the drawing layer. And then the color is on normal. But when you colored it, and you're painting with it, your mode was on multiply. That's it. That's the key right there. That's all you need to remember. Um, and just practice, you know, it's, it takes some getting used to, but once you get this down, it becomes like clockwork and you just forget about it. It's so easy. So, um, yeah, I hope this kind of helps you out and, um, gets you a little bit further along, more advanced students. Thank you so much for being a part of, um, my little lessons here, I hope you find them useful. 
and uh, I hope that you're able to expand your artwork and try new things. Um, please subscribe to my channel and like my videos and share them. Um, yeah, so any questions, let me know. Maybe I'll make a video of it for you. So yeah, have a great day. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.